matter is all of the stuff around us. And matter is classified into two broad categories. Pure substances and mixtures. And within pure substances, there's elements and compounds. The distinction between elements and compounds is that element is matter that is composed of a single type of atom. Compounds, on the other hand, are substances composed of two or more different elements or two or more different atoms. We'll look at some examples shortly. Mixtures, on the other hand, are combinations of pure substances. So a mixture can be a homogeneous mixture where there's a uniform distribution of matter throughout the sample or a heterogeneous mixture where the distribution is not uniform. Here, use the animation to classify each substance as an element, compound, homogeneous, or heterogeneous mixture. This first one is composed of a single type of atom, all green dots. So this one is an element. The next one is a mixture. It is composed of an element, indicated by the red dots, and a compound, indicated by the two green dots connected to the one blue dot. This mixture is heterogeneous because the distribution of the pure substances, in this case the element and the compound, the distribution of those pure substances is not uniform throughout the sample volume. In other words, as I travel through it, in this part of the volume, I encounter only the element. At this point, I'm at the interface of the element and the compound, so I'm getting a little bit of each. If I move further through the volume, now I'm encountering only compound. So this is a non-uniform distribution of matter or a non-uniform distribution of the pure substances. So this is a heterogeneous mixture. This third one is an example of a compound because we have units of matter, in this case, composed of two different types of atoms, a blue atom and an orange atom stuck together. So this is a compound. And this last example would be an example of a homogeneous mixture, where there appears to be a uniform distribution of blue and orange atoms throughout the sample volume. Here we're asked to classify each of these substances as compound, element, or mixture. Sodium and tungsten are found in the periodic table, so these two are elements. Here's part of the periodic table showing sodium and tungsten. Carbon dioxide, or shown here as CO2, is a compound because it's a substance that is composed of two different atoms, carbon and oxygen in this case, uh, as a single unit. Oil and vinegar, well this would be a mixture, and sugar water, well water is a compound and sugar is itself a compound. So these are two pure substances combine to make a mixture. 
If you're not sure if something is a compound, Google it. Google the name, in this case sugar, Google sugar and molecular structure and search under images and see what comes up. And this first image shows sucrose sugar molecule and we see a bunch of atoms bonded together. Well, there's carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen bonded together. Well, this would imply that sugar is a compound composed of these three different atoms. Therefore, it is a pure substance. And similarly, we could do the same for water.